What's up guys? Another day working on the Renegade. Today we're doing the valve cover gasket. Shell has had a bit of a valve cover gasket leak ever since she got this thing. Um, so I took it to the car wash yesterday and degreased the engine. I was actually surprised how much it did clean up because if you think this looks bad, you should have seen it before. It was completely gunked up. Um, but I can see some fresh oil, so I definitely know the valve cover is leaking. Um, unfortunately, the gasket I just opened up is cork instead of the rubber one, which comes factory, by the way. Uh, but nonetheless, cork will work just fine. We'll make sure it seals up nice, so I'm going to start pulling this thing apart. I don't even know if these back ones are tight. A little bit of a tight fit. All right, let's get this cleaned up. Shell's Jeep definitely had some positive crankcase pressure. because You can see that the air filter is getting kind of oily. The old one was real bad. These breathers are all clogged up, so I want to make sure I can spray them out real nice. You know, I'm almost tempted to unbolt those breather sections. But God, I don't want to break one of those bolts on a 20-something year old. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to avoid that. Make sure this is clean. Those breathers are still a little gummed up in there, but they're not too bad. It's definitely a lot better than what they were. Alright, we'll give it a little compressed air for good measure. Now here's the thing with cork gaskets. You gotta seal them up better. This shellac works really well, but uh, it's really messy. In the past, I've always put it on my gaskets and then tried to lay the gasket on and it's made a god awful mess. So I think this time I'm actually just gonna put a coating of this right across the top of the head here where the valve cover goes on and another coating on the valve cover. Um, then I'll lay the, uh, the gasket in and sandwich them in between. So we'll see how that goes. I just need to make sure I have the gasket facing the right way.
kidding me? <sighs> All right. So that's out of the way. You know, just a little less angle on that thermostat housing. And this really wouldn't be a big deal. Thanks. Thanks, Chrysler. Oh. Okay. Try it again. Valve cover is back on. A uh, couple of key things to look out for when you're doing this job. Down back in here. All right, so that bolt right in the center of your screen there, uh, that is the ground strap. You wanna make sure you remove that before taking the old valve cover off because it can hang up. Um, I actually was able to get it out without removing it, but I did have to remove it to replace the valve cover. Just to the left of that, that's another ground. It actually just pops on and off right there. Just pull it off, pop it back on, no big deal. Um, you're going to want to remove this rail right here. It just pops right off. Easier if you take these off before removing the valve cover. And the other really important thing you want to do is be very careful when you're tightening the bolts because on this front corner one here, let's see if I can see it, I really got myself into some trouble. I broke that one clean off. Now I think, yeah, the stud that's left is showing up through. So I need to take the valve cover off to uh, try and unbolt that broken bolt. Hopefully I can get it and find a replacement, that shouldn't be too big a deal. But I gotta do the whole job over again. And I can't do it right now because I need to go pick up Michelle and give her a Jeep back. So be careful when tightening. Talk to you guys later.